Hi, this is Ryan Brown for MockQuestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five microbiologist interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, MockQuestions.com. Now let's get started. Question number one, are you a detail-oriented person? This may seem like a straightforward question, especially in the scientific field. If you made it to an interview, then your interviewers will expect your answer to be yes. What they are looking for is less about the yes and more about the, you guessed it, details. Think about how you are detail-oriented. What does it look like and what do you do? Don't be afraid to share examples. Absolutely, I am always focused on the details in nearly all areas of my life. Paying attention to detail allows me to see and learn patterns that can explain the way much of the world operates. I enjoy working in the scientific field because it encourages me to fully embrace the details, whether hands-on in the lab or back at my desk creating workflows and conditions to streamline my work and allow me to bring the research to life in reports and on screen. Question number two, what sort of working conditions do you thrive in? In the scientific field, you might find yourself in a range of work environments, from standing or sitting in the lab to long periods at a desk. Your schedule could be cyclical and repetitive. When preparing for this question, be sure to do as much research as you can on the organization to gain a better understanding of the overall environment. Also, look carefully at the job description for any language around working conditions or physical requirements, which are often listed at the bottom. Be truthful in your response to this question because you do not want to offer false expectations or set yourself up to work in an environment that doesn't suit you. I enjoy having some flexibility in my day, either with my location or being able to sit or stand and move around a bit. One thing I love about my career is that I can spend my time working hands-on in a lab and also analyzing data at a desk. I also like to have some predictability, so it helps for me to know what the general cycle of things looks like and how I contribute on a day-to-day -day basis. Question number three, tell me about a challenging interaction with reporting results to physicians, family members, or researchers. Reporting results is a common responsibility of a microbiologist. The purpose of this question is to access not only your professionalism and communication skills, but your technical skills as well. The interviewer is offering this situation-based question to understand how well you respond on your feet and how you combine your people skills with your analytical skills. When reporting results, I always follow the standard operating procedure. In one particularly challenging situation, our lab wasn't able to meet turnaround time due to repeating a sample to ensure accuracy. I followed our procedure and told the attending physician that results would be delayed. I knew it was not what she wanted to hear at the time, so I remained calm, considerate, and professional. I told her that we would have results to her as soon as possible and that quality was extremely important to us and to our patients. Question number four, tell me about your microscopy experience. The interviewer will likely ask a variety of questions testing your knowledge and experience, as well as how well you can explain scientific concepts to others. Your response to this question in particular lets the interviewer get to know what types of assays you are familiar with, as well as how well you can answer a question that is somewhat open-ended. I've used an inverted microscope on a daily basis for maintaining cell culture and subsequent protein expression assays, virus inoculation and detection, CCID 50 and plague assays. Some of the assays requiring counting using the camera and retina display feature as with the plague assay, for example. Question number five, in the scenario where your quality control fails, what troubleshooting step would you take? This question will let the interviewer know whether or not you understand what a quality control is. It also provides an opportunity for you to impress with your troubleshooting and critical thinking skills. When preparing your answer to this question, be sure to outline it clearly and sequentially so you are able to provide a clean path for your interviewer to follow. Since quality controls are necessary for all experiments, it's imperative that both the negative and positive control is successful. Depending on which one fails, I will troubleshoot accordingly. For example, if the positive control fails, the first thing I would look for is whether or not I added the sample, since human error is a common reason for failure. If there's an internal control for all samples, including controls, then I would ensure that is detectable. Other positives on the run eliminate reagent and machine errors of any sort. 
Thank you for watching. If you want more microbiologist interview questions, then head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.